Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and this is the New American Standard Wide Margin Quintel from Schuyler Bibles. All right, I've got another great Bible from Schuyler today. This is the New American Standard Wide Margin Quintel. This is the first time they've done a Quintel in a wide margin. So they have the regular Quintel, they have the personal size Quintel, they've even done a thin line Quintel um, for the NASB at one point. But this is the first wide margin Quintel they've done. Uh, people have been very excited about this Bible and for good reason, it's fantastic. There's some really great features. They've done it just really well in terms of if you're a wide margin person, you're looking for one. This is top notch. So let's take a look. Okay, first things first, here's the box. This is the first clamshell box I've gotten from Skylar. That's not a, a two piece, but you see there it is. There are the wrappings and the, the card from them. It says Wide Margin Quintel NASP Imperial Blue Goat Skin, really clean bo box. Skylar Bibles over there. There it is. This Imperial Blue is a, a little bit more muted, I would say, than my other Imperial Blues. It's it's just got a little bit more gray to it, and I love it. It's it's fantastic, but it's just a little bit different. You see that? There's the Jerusalem Cross. Obviously a really great floppy. They've got a, a semi-yap is what they're calling this, so it's got a little bit more than kind of their normal editions do, but very, very floppy. I love their goatskin covers. This one feels fantastic on the side you have these raised hubs how many of them are there one two three four five six of them holy bible new american standards really big skylar this bible's two inches thick so there's a plenty of room for them to do that take a look on the back you've got these dark blue liners inside full leather liners three blue ri ribbons look great i'm a i'm a geek for blue bibles and the imperial blue from skylar is one of my favorites and then you get the blue under gold. Oh my gosh, look at it when it's like so gold when you have it closed and then you open it and it just pops so blue. I mean, absolutely stunning. Size, this, this Bible is big. This Bible is six and seven eighths inches wide and it is nine and three eighths inches tall. And it is, like I mentioned, so six and seven eighths, almost seven inches wide, nine and three inch, inches tall. And this one I measured is just at, right at two inches thick. I'll throw a picture up so you can see this compared to the Quintel and the personal size Quintel. From certain angles, it doesn't look that much bigger than the Quintel. From others, it is obviously <laughs> that much bigger than the Quintel. Um, beautiful Bible. Really well done. Let's open this up. Obviously, it's got an edge-lined cover. It is Smith-Sewn. So it's going to hold up despite its massive size over time. This Bible just looks and feels from the outside like a very high quality premium Bible. Presentation page to start. Family records. Holy Bible, New American Standard, Schuyler Bibles. I love that from the very beginning of this Bible, everything is printed to be a little bit smaller like with the wide margins. So you have the information there, the copyright, Lachman Foundation, printed by Royal Youngblood in the Netherlands on French paper. Very, very nice. Look at that blue over there. Good grief. Here's the forward and the information about the translation, the New American Standard. And then we get into the Bible itself. You see it's laying pretty flat right here, even at Genesis 1. If you're familiar with the Quintel, this is exactly the same as the NASB Quintel or the NASB Personal Size Quintel. Same page numbers, everything. It's the two-column text with the cross-references at the bottom and the textual notes over here on the outside of the page for the textual notes. I'll get it in here a little bit, and you can just see it does kind of fall off a little bit because it's so thick, but it also does this where you can kind of play with it and get it where you want it. And I like that you don't, even if it's falling off, it's barely just a little bit because they've given you this inner margin as well as margins everywhere else. So here we go in the Psalms, straightforward. 
This is a 9.5 font. The Quintel is an 11, so the Quintel is a bigger font than this. The personal size Quintel is an 8.5 font, so it's small. So this is actually between the two, but it's bigger because of the margins. They've given you true wide margins. You see you get margins out here, along the bottom, and along the top. What they've essentially done, and Skylar, you have to make a mid-size Quintel because that's what this is. This is right between the, and it, honestly, if this was a 9.75 font, it was just a hair bigger. It would be exactly in between the personal size Quintel and the Quintel. And honestly, if you cut this out and you trimmed off the margins, you'd have a lovely eight and a half by five and a half Bible. Maybe <laughs> that's what they're already planning on doing. I certainly hope so. A mid-size Quintel would sell like hotcakes and everybody would want one. The, the people need to, to tell them, and I'm sure they've heard this before, that would be a fantastic... That's basically what, what this is. It's a mid-size Quintel on big paper, and it's perfect. I, I would say for, to you right now, again, GSM, 40 GSM. They also have thicker paper because it's intended for you to write on it as a wide margin. So that's another thing to think about. But good grief, y'all. I would tell you that the Quintel, the first time I opened a Quintel and looked at the 11-point font, I was like, whoa, is that too big? Is that too big? I mean, it was very big font. The personal size Quintel, I love. It's a small on-the-go Bible, but the font is a little bit small. So to me, this is the perfect size font. It jumps off the page, nine and a half, so easy to read. It's line matched, 40 GSM paper. Again, obviously, you can see a little bit here. that You can see the words on the other side of the page. It's not fully opaque, but it's really opaque, and it's great. And this is plenty of space for you to take all the notes in the world that you could possibly want. I would definitely encourage you if you're going to buy this Bible to come up with a note-taking system that you that you really like before you start writing on a on a beautiful expensive Bible like this. But man, the size, the feel, the look on the page, it's really really impressive. It's obviously a big Bible because of the thicker paper, because of the wide margins, but man, it's really well done. You get everything that you've come to expect from Skylar as far as the the Quintel series goes, and it's just this one, it stands apart. I, I can totally see them making this Bible and a bunch of other translations to do the wide margin. And then, like I said, hopefully this is a precursor of them doing a, a mid-size Quintel. Theoretically, you think they've already done the work here. They just need to print it on smaller paper. So, really, really lovely. Again, if you're not familiar, if you've never watched a video about the Quintel, two columns, cross-references, they use red accents everywhere on the page. It's not a red letter text in the New Testament. It's a black letter text for the NASB, but this red really pops. It's subtle, but it kind of helps you find your place in the text. Again, you can move this over. Easy to use. Even the, the concordance back here is a wide margin concordance. So if you want to come back here and take your notes all the way to the back, you can do that. They use the red throughout this. That's really nice. It makes this concordance really easy to use, despite the fact that it's got a very, very small font. And then I'm going to show you back here in the back. They've got a couple more features. So at the end of the concordance, you get this lovely lined notebook paper, and it has a split down the middle, so you have two columns. You can go across it if you want, but you can separate your notes. And there's so much of it, it's great. Really, this looks great. And then, of course, you get Skylar's, at the end of your notebook paper, you get Skylar's Bible Maps on a lovely coded, it might be the exact same 40 GSM paper, I'm not sure. They had these maps specially commissioned, and they are fantastic. Like, I'm a map person, I kind of enjoy flipping back to the maps and kind of getting a a lay of the land, no pun intended, and, and really figuring out where I am in the text. And these are fantastic. There you have the journeys of Paul. So you go to uh, Acts and you start reading about Paul's missionary journeys. When you're doing that, come back here and trace yourself and see where he's going. And that I think that helps you kind of dig in a little bit deeper. Not only do you get the lined notebook paper, but you get all this paper back here in the back as well. I'm not going to keep this review going on any longer. Obviously, I'm geeking out about this Bible. I'm so glad to have it. I'm not a write-in-your-Bible kind of guy, but this one makes me want to do it. Beautifully designed. 
I'm a huge Blue Bible fan, so I love this one. They come in different colors. Fantastic. Good job. Skylar, please make a mid-size quintel. You, you've already done the work. Let's do it. So there you have it. Skylar has done it again with the NASB Wide Margin Quintel. This is a fantastic Bible. If you like what you've seen here, I'll put some links below to where you can purchase this Bible. You can also visit BibleReviewBlog.com, as always, to see more great photos of the Bibles I review here on video. Read a full write-up of each and every one. Um, check us out on Instagram, Facebook. While you're here on YouTube, click the like button, subscribe to this channel. I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.